Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our main event. We have a very special one in store for you this time, a match that we've never even seen before here in the WPD, the Blitz of Death. This grueling test of endurance will see our top four tag teams face the short end of not just one handicap match, but eight. Now let's go to the ring. The following is a Blitz of Death match, and it is for the WPD Lightweight Tag Team Championship. Introducing first, at a combined weight of just over 52 pounds, the team of Elekid and Ghastly. Second, coming to you from Kanto, at a combined weight of 86 pounds, the team of Machop and Abra. In third, Magby and the WPD Lightweight Champion, Staryu, the Steam Team. And finally, being accompanied to the ring by Chansey, weighing 137 pounds, they are the WPD Lightweight Tag Team Champions, Scyther and Cubone! And we are underway in this Blitz of Death. For those of you unaware, these matches were previously recorded over the last 24 hours, but we're just now watching how they played out for the first time. Our teams are facing the same pool of opponents, so the trials were spaced out so as to give those opponents time to recover, the time they might need. While these are handicap matches, these four tag teams are undoubtedly far and away above everyone else in the lightweight division. The team with greater numbers could still take quite a beating here. Ghastly, Abra, Hugo, and Staryu leading off. Now about Ghastly, that's going to be an interesting test whether or not it's fully back. And indeed it looks like it. All of our teams get them dispatching their first opponents. Let's take some time to look back at how we got to this match. As you may remember, three weeks ago on our program, Elekid and Gassi won the right to be number one contenders. No sooner could they begin celebrating. Mike and Kubo swarmed out from the back and delivered a vicious beatdown that culminated in Gassi getting attacked by a club covered in WMD. But even that wasn't enough for a reigning champion who came out the next week and stated that the match for the tag titles wouldn't take place. They claimed that the WMDs left Gassi infected and contagious shocked all of us by announcing that they got a restraining order against them. Fortunately for us, our commissioner saw right through that attempt to avoid defending the titles and announced that if the teams were prohibited from showing up in the same place, then they just have to compete for the titles one at a time. He announced the blitz of death and invited back the other two teams from the number one contenders match. And that's where we are right now with Machop and Abra off to an early lead. So star you get into some trouble. Unfortunately, Magby's there to salvage the team. You see, it looks like, yeah, Cube on the second one to get out of the first handicap match. Gastly's still suffering the effects of that assault. It hasn't shown yet. Only in third place, he's still very early on. Solid hit successfully in bringing up the rear for the scheme team, so all of the teams can escape the first one. Now, this type of match demands a different set of skills than a normal title match. It's all about delivering the beat down to several opponents over a long period of time, keeping up a fast win while you're at it. Otherwise, you don't stand a chance. First opponent's all leaving ringside now, so the second set can come in. Already with a quick takedown. Scyther starts crafting that sharp club that he's so fond of crafting. And Elegant taking a big risk against Banty. And it doesn't get the pin. Here comes a charge from Banty. Ooh, 
Alakid just kicks out. Sakura Saiken continues tracking that club, making it more aerodynamic, and Manby calling for the ref. Obviously, Blitz of Death, no disqualification. The ref is still getting face belly for a while. With the valuable time, I guess Saito didn't want to waste his scrams out of the retag to Shugo. Abra pulling further ahead. Elegant putting whatever it had left into taking that Bambi and succeeds this time. So he's still hanging in there, but all our teams have some catching up to do if they want to stop Abra and the shot from running away from this one. Shugo apparently trying to swing his club with up Bambi was, but they've already tagged that some zero. Elegant flying off the top rope against Syndicate, no one home. Syndicate not capitalizing, but running under the ring for some reason. Shugo knowing what to aim for with a solid hard hit on Spirit's down. Elegant trying to convert the stamina after he got the win knocked out of the time fancy. Making extinction actually inching back into second place now. Syndicate comes out. We're gonna fight Gaspy instead of Elekid. Gaspy at least takes it. And Gaspy with the boom! Crowd loves it, but now Elekid's gonna have to come back in with almost no time to recover from its injury. And Staryu finishing up its second. Chop already seen the third batch of things coming to the ring. Wolfer, and then Master of Mind Games for getting into your head. Up to its usual tricks, playing the chop and getting an angry feeling of the thing. Good God, what a punch! It was back for 20, the enemy's backfiring so far. Elegant Elegant just needs one good shot to send that team packing. Alpin trash talking some more. Chop. Still keeping its cool, even though it looks mad as hell, not gonna take it anymore. Meowth on the other end will take it, and by hit, I mean a debilitating hit. Is anything gonna be able to stop the chopping out? Whooper also in against Magby. Managed to catch it completely by surprise. Magby out of it already. It is! Staryu's gonna have to work some overtime if it wants to avoid the Steam Team making an early exit. And Machop, the mind game's finally starting to take their toll on him. Tripped over his own feet, it looks like. Cypher giving another try at crafting that club for Cubone. Work its magic over on Staryu now, so things not looking good for Staryu and the Steam Team. Light, they're tagging off the Cuba now, giving it that extra strength club. The job actually out cold from its day. Hobbit didn't even have to do anything to get the pin, so it comes Abra. Staryu's composure holding up fine for now. And after having no trouble picking up that slack and taking down an offense, that team's still ahead of the gap in the barrel. We have to look at the gas in a second. We also see Cubo showing just how brutal it can be courtesy of Sight and Scrap. The Mind Game's starting to take a toll on Staryu, too. And Diglett joining in and wearing Staryu down. Doesn't look like it has much of Juice left. Doesn't even have Magby to tag to, either. Staryu and Cuba working on their ninth opponents now. Side of down with me out just kicks out. That puts Cuba solidly into 
third place now. Yep, yeah, talking to Scratch again. Makes it all or nothing for Stardew right here. Spinarak against Ever not wanting to be in the ring there. Reaching for the tag to hang out. Stardew fighting for a turn of life right here. No, he needs to concentrate and does finally get the nails down for the pin. Simply great at helping each other out when they use. That's why they're four four times back here. So Stardew with the reigning singles in the light race division. Sure, they'd love to add another title reign to that. And Spinarak starting in the ring in the match against Gastly too, tacking out the Houndour there as well. We have both Aber and Gastly facing down Houndour, who historically gotten the better of both of them. Looks like they're both quite capable of overpowering Houndour. Did help, but he's got a chance to get a good pummel on Houndour's way into the ring. Abra's still first. Aspen's still second. And now Cubo making his move only a few seconds behind the number one contenders. Star you all of our teams in striking distance now. Gasly again, here comes the boom. Magnum might hit hard. But somehow only a near fall. Cubo's next to pull the wannabe Gasly from the copycat click and put that gang full of upstart Pokemon admiring in front of each just like their idols. Abra's next opponent too. Not sure what Cubo feels about Gasly is probably still in front of me floating by the fact that the copycat has to put the multiple enemies right in front of the face, ending up losing its concentration punching nothing but the match. Ever having nowhere near as much trouble as disposing of it, taking lead already to the halfway point now. Chop and Ever have led the whole way thus far. Even though Magnemite is able to survive from Gasly's explosion of pressurized gas, I like to remove that facade. Just delivered a light tap to make it fall apart. Cubo is still disappointed by Gasly, not doing much of anything against the Cap. Maybe he's just calling nightmares about ever having to defend the tag titles against him. I'm sure, there are some in our audience that like to think that's the reason. Just like that, three of our teams take down their targets in rapid succession. Elik is through to the halfway point. That's Stardew's turn to face Copycat Gasly. Staryu gets there, two seconds ahead of Cubo. Cubo and his life are through to the half two, but they'll have to come back to last place if they want to retain their title. Maybe this match, courtesy of our commissioner, just doesn't play into their style. Certainly a very unconventional attack. Cubo does almost all the brawling. About the only time you ever see Scyther on the attack is when it's hitting someone with a steel chair. Scyther's all about stalling for time while it calls out that perfect club for Cubo to deliver those near deadly strikes that it's certainly capable of. Forcing a blitz of death, wasting time one thing you don't want to do, so there you go. We certainly are the tag champs for now, but we have three other teams, one of which seems likely to end their reign tonight. Certainly a lot of you would like that. Oh, there's Elekid, looks like it got Vulpix good there, aiming for the leg so it can't move as easily. Now much job with the strange new technique we've seen popping up throughout the WPD recently. Managing to get Shikarita for the pin. I still don't know what the deal is with that technique. Pokemon are starting to swear by it. Not to mention swear at it when they're at the wrong end. Elekid gets 13. And it looks like Magby's gonna get 13 right behind it. Yep, all our teams on 13 for a brief moment before Machop beat the stuffing out of Kleppa. Chikorita and Elekid now in a drawn out fist fight, neither Pokemon accomplishing much. I'm sure that's not what Elekid would like to see in this match. 
Sentra trying to douse Maggie. Oh, there's Hugo with that strange technique as well. Elekid breaks the stalemate. Magby practically laughing at Sentry. When you bring with Staryu like Magby does, you tend to build up a resistance to just the water like that. But that strange technique, what we've seen of it so far, is it poisonous to plants or something? Does it have anything to do with those WMDs they attacked Gaston with three weeks ago? Elekid going to the top rope against Pichu, trying to make up for lost time. And Pichu kicks out. I don't know what keeps Elekid going at this point. Maybe it's pure adrenaline. Going up again. So did Magby. Fleffa down. And Pichu kicks out again. A two flying fist drop from the top rope. How does someone like Pichu... Oh, now Pichu's in on the strange technique. That's going to put down Elekid for the count. I don't know if this Pichu can take an ungodly amount of abuse, but even if Gatsby succeeds in beating it in one-on-one, -on -one, he has already lost a lot of time. It's getting late for the match to be losing time. Chop, the first one to see our sixth set of opponents. They're starting with Tutini, who wants to say is known for the vacation Gatsby does put Pichu down for good. What's Chansey doing in the ring? Chansey's not supposed to be in this match. Genie trying to test the shop's threshold for mind games again. And from the looks of it, not getting very far this time. Look, Shanty with the blatant interference. No, there's no disqualification in this match, but come on! Ooh, here comes Marie knocking Chansey to the ground. Can we possibly see Chansey finally get what she has coming? Are you quick to dispose of Tutini? Moving into second place there, and Chansey now rolls out of the ring. This is certainly a safe benefit for doing that. Now staring down the copycat Cubone. I don't think I see the real Cubone put ice in it. Maybe that's a clue to the copycat's identity behind the mask. Reef tries running after Chansey and runs head on into Cubone instead. Big mistake. Are you on copycat Abra? Copycat Cubo showing is still used in learning how to handle that club. Real Cubo making Marie pay. Ghastly going boom. The Steam Team has actually passed the top and ever for the lead. Marie down in two matches. Now it'll be on Elegant to handle two Pokemon on its own. Outside the ring, still serving as a distraction. I don't think it put the full force into that last hit. It seems he now has two matches to go before there's a new chance. You will make the copycat pay for its mistake. Elegant facing down Dratini. And a near fall, Machop in six matches. Dratini's starting to play around with Elegant, hoping to have more success than she did against the top. Obviously, Elegant hopes otherwise she can get back in contention. Cubo up against his own copycat. These two have certainly learned from each other, but in this match, it's strictly business. Cubo simply wipes the copycat out with one slam at club. Dratini tormenting Elegant some more. That team is way behind everyone else now. Now Dratini looks like finally going on the offensive, but even now it still looks like it was for mockery value than for anything else. Aren't they putting any power into that? Elekid finally gets a clear head and puts a fist right where it belongs! But Elekid still has another Pokémon to go before he's out of the world because the damage has been done. Maggie and Natsu leading off in the seventh. Elekid's next opponent... Hollywag normally wouldn't be much of a threat, but I don't know how woozy Elekid still is. Chop also leads off against Natsu. Natsu great to get in there. That's gonna hit my chop hard. But the chop manages to kick out. Elekid's still under the weather and on the verge of being pinned and eliminated. The first team to do so. Hollywag now going for the hydro pump. And Elekid dodged. 
Elekid gets back up and counters into its own hard hit. Elekid escapes again, but I don't think that'll do that too much good. You can't win if you keep losing time like this in every match. Natsu managing to get the better of Machop, leaving Abra to go it alone from here. Ponyta fast enough to make the tag out to Natsu before Cubo can arrive. And indeed, Cubo gets nothing. Now Magby flying high against Radita. And that gets the pin. Now the Steam Team pulling away. There's not much time for the other teams to catch up. Abra also using that strange technique now. And it is enough to finally put Natu down. Abra and Machop still in second place despite Machop's poor showing earlier. Pyro continuing the beatdown on Magby. But it's not enough to keep it down. Magby's still in trying to fight back in whatever way it can. After hoping for a good shot at Ponyta, since it has to take down the entire team on its own now. Ponyta also kicks out. Magby looking desperate to get the tag into Staryu gets there. Ever taking a hard hit from Ponyta on the ground, Ponyta springing right back to its feet. Elekid disposing of Natsu without any real incident, it seems. Kubo taking a hit, but looks like it's just humming along, not in any real danger. Ever going once more. Ponyta kicks out again. Here comes Ponyta with that fiery breath. And Abra's down. Abra and Machop have been eliminated. They led right from the start for over half the gauntlet, which is the first team to go. Seems like they just ran out of steam tool at the end. Of course, one team that isn't running out of steam is the steam team. Starting the first Pokemon in. Put down Tyrogue and move just three Pokemon away from the title. Elekid ever the adrenaline jump, he goes up high risk again, connects, and Eevee kicks out. You just can't keep Eevee from running around, running into you one drop of stamina at a time. A Cubo disposing of Ty Rogan there, it's three Pokemon away. Elekid going up top again, hits! And still isn't enough! When it comes to Eevee, it pretty much wears you down by the second. Of course, it wears the clock down by the second, too. So every second that passes by, and Elkid doesn't have to pin on Eevee yet. The number one contender's hopes to further and further behind the steam team and Cycle and Cubo. Here it with one more shot, and it looks like that's enough, but there's still one more Pokemon before the next team can come in. Staryu's up against the copycat Elkid. Took a gamble against Coldwood right at the beginning. That just fell off, staying in a... Take another risk against Elekid, too. Radicic giving another pot shot on the real Elekid. I don't think it can take much more of that. Trying to end it right now through the top row. And connects. Staryu's gamble doesn't pay off here, so the Steam Team's title hopes are all on Magby now. Scyther's in the ring now, and it certainly benefits from Staryu's mistake, even if it doesn't know about it until now. Getting to work trying to scope that perfect club one last time to hang on to that goal. Elekid taking the brunt of Magby's attack, getting right up and still has time to zap Magby. Scyther's finishing up that club so it can hand it off to Cubone as long as it can avoid the pinball. Here's Slowpoke trying as hard as it can to take down Scyther before that can happen. Not enough! Magby gets in another shot against the copycat Elekid, now it's two Pokémon away. Seen Magby perform under pressure before. Here's Scyther making the tag we can all see coming. Magby's next opponent, Onyx, the near 500 pounder! That's clearly a mismatch for all these lightweights, but it is part of the gauntlet, and it still stands in Magby's way. Nagby trying to get all the leverage it can, flying high and bounces right off. Onyx completely unfazed. Meanwhile, against Elekid, Slowpoke also managing to tag out to Onyx. But this time, Elekid's ready for it. A chilling punch right between the eyes. Onyx manhandling Nagby, and the Steam Team is out. We're down to two. 
the other Smokepoke tags out to sight their copycat of Cubone's partner. Those Cubones at least well enough to get out of the way of the incoming hit. Elekid with another punch takes down Onyx. Just three minutes ago, we thought this team was hopelessly far behind. Now it has the lead. Once Cubone gets going with that club, it doesn't slow down, so you figure if Elekid wants to keep the lead, it only has time for one good hit against each Pokemon. Here it goes off the top against Porygon. Hits. And Porygon gets right up. Not enough. Meanwhile, Cubo's just gonna clean up shop here against Slowpoke. Nothing's gonna stop it. Taking out the last Pokemon, retaining the title. Elekid with one more hit to finish Porygon, but it's gonna be too slow. Elekid certainly putting up a valiant effort. This match came close, but it doesn't look like it has enough time. But wait, Porygon's fighting back! Porygon's fighting back, holding off Cubone as long as it possibly can! Just trying to fight for its life, and would you look at this? Almost simultaneous hits at the end! This one's gonna be close! It looks like it's Cube! No! Now it looks like a dead tie! All the Pokémon are down! Now it's just a race to ring the bell, and it could go either way! Running as fast as it can, who's it gonna be? It started off as a Pokémon gauntlet, now it's coming down to a pure foot race across the arena to get to that bell, and I don't see who's ahead right now! It's truly too close to call! Coming down! There it is, the match is over! By God, I don't know who won! We're gonna have to go to take a closer look at the tape! Of course, if it's declared a tie, Scyther and Cubone are gonna stay the champs. Here you see Porygon putting up its last desperate stand against Cubone. And now the final attack. Looks like Cubone gets it just a bit earlier. We might have to slow the tape down. Let's do that. Porygon definitely starts falling over faster than Slowpoke. Guess that's one of the things you can do when you're more receptive to pain. Cubone just a bit ahead. Still looks that way. So instead of being several seconds down, it's just barely down. Still not enough if that still holds. Yep, still looks like Scyther by just a couple frames could be. Yep. And there you have it. Scyther comes out ahead. Wait, now Elekid came out ahead! What? Coming down to the wire? By that much?! Elekid did it! After reviewing the tape, it has been determined that the winners of this match and your new WPD Lightweight Tag Team Champions, Elekid and Ghastly! I still don't believe it! All the indications had them coming a bit short, but it doesn't matter anymore. They pulled it off and they've gone from WMDs to the WPD Tag Champs! Good night and see you next time, everybody!